Hey, what's up guys, John here. I believe a lot of us wanna become very, very successful for a couple reasons. It's not the Lambos, it's not for the mansions, although a lot of people would like to think that. I believe it's for the friendships and the connections that we build and the information that we get being in those circles. When we hear somebody like the CEO of Redfin saying what he just said, which is essentially no bank financing and no insurance on properties in certain markets, that means something to me. When I look at BlackRock and Blackstone, their investing strategy, what they're doing in real estate and clean energy, not many people are talking about it. That means something to me. I believe we need to be following these people because these people generally win 10 times out of 10 times. Like they're, they're unbeatable. It's because they have the right information. So here's what he's saying here. Home buyers aren't taking climate change seriously, said Redfin CEO. Redfin CEO Glenn Kelman believes there is yet to be a serious reckoning among U.S. home buyers about the dangers of climate change presents. The buyers keep marching in the jaws of destruction. The CEO of the real estate broker Redfin told CNBC on Friday he believes there has yet to be a serious reckoning among the U.S. home buyers about the dangers of climate change. The buyers keep marching into the jaws of destruction, Redfin Glenn Kelman said. Wildfire season is the American West is becoming longer and more intense as a result of human-induced climate change fueled by warmer temperatures and drier conditions. Similarly, scientists say hurricanes and floods are increasing in ferocity due to warmer planet and rising sea levels. Home buyers in vulnerable parts of the country are not deterred by those realities, Kelvin said. The buyers themselves are driven by affordability and the most affordable places in America are the places that are most risk of being affected by climate change, he said. They're going to be flooded by hurricanes. They're going to be affected by wildfires. If you look at where people are moving, it's the Florida and the Southeast, which is especially flood prone and has just incredible heat risk and temperature rise. And they're moving to places like Phoenix, Vegas, and Utah, Kelman said. Phoenix is now the fifth largest city in the U.S. eclipsing Philly, according to a recently released 2020 census data. After the Arizona capital grew faster than any other major American city in the past decade located in Sorona Desert, Phoenix has long been known for heat, but experts say it's likely to become more extreme as a result of climate change. Utah's population grew more than 18% between 2010 and 2020, making it the fastest growing U.S. state in the time period. According to the Census Bureau, Kelman pointed out to a recent Redfin analysis that found more than one third of homes in Utah faced with the company classified as high fire risk. I think that this idea about how climate change is going to be factored into how people think about housing, it hasn't happened yet. The only people who have figured out the actualities are the people that have calculated the cost of insuring these properties, sells Kelman, who's Redfin CEO for the last 15 years. Increasingly, it's going to get harder to get insurance. It's going to get harder to get a loan for these properties because lenders are going to see the writing on the wall that this is collateral risk. You know, what he's saying, you have to think about what this will do. If insurance costs go up and taxes, property taxes are going up, which I've reported on, if property taxes are going up, insurance costs are going up, and banks are tightening on financing in certain markets, which I think is inevitable. That's why I say it's important to study the markets that a lot of these corporations are buying in, because I personally believe that they're going to start staying away from certain markets over the coming you know, six to 12 months. Or if anything, they're going to start plugging in things like what BlackRock is doing. BlackRock Real Estate Unit acquires a clean energy developer. This was two weeks ago. And this clean energy developer, Wind Solar Specialist National Renewable Solutions, has over 3.5 gigawatts of development projects in the pipeline. So what I believe is going to very likely happen is I think that the entire landscape of real estate investing and home buying is likely going to change over the next five years. And it's just so crucial to pay attention to this now. But not many people are. Not many people are. Increasingly, it's going to get harder to get insurance. It's going to be harder to get a loan for these properties because lenders are going to see the writing on the wall. Natural disasters are expensive. In January, the insurance company Munich Re estimated the amount of hurricanes, wildfires, and flood last year led to $210 billion in damages across the world. Kelman commented Friday comes as multiple regions in the U.S. grapple with weather disasters. In California, crews are fighting a pair of massive blazes known as the Caldor and Dixie fires, the later of which the second largest in recorded state history, wildfires have prompted thousands of residents to evacuate their homes. 
Other parts of the U.S. are dealing with the fallout from Hurricane Ida, which made landfall in Louisiana on Sunday. As of noon Friday, nearly 850,000 utility customers remained without power. Ida, after weakening into a tropical storm, made its way north and pummeled mid-Atlantic and northeastern states, including Maryland, New Jersey, New York. New York City saw record rainfalls Wednesday night and the flash flooding that resulted and demonstrated how vulnerable infrastructure is in the country's most populous city is due to climate change. You know, I'm bringing somebody on on this channel and I'm going to be talking to them. He is a major, major insurance adjuster out of Philadelphia, and he is going to educate me and all of us on some of the big changes that are coming with insurance. I think insurance is something that we all need to really pay attention to. And I'm going to be doing that probably today or maybe probably tomorrow uh, or maybe Tuesday. So consider subscribing here if you want to get educated on what's happening with insurance. I think we need we really need to pay attention to this really closely. What do you guys think about this? With no bank financing, you just think about what that would do to markets. Any market. Most markets are supported by cheap bank debt. If bank debt starts getting pulled back from certain markets, those markets are going to fall. And that's going to be basically the end of those markets. I think it would turn into a massive buyer's market. And essentially, we probably see values plummet by 95% if they pull out of all bank debt. I'm not saying that's going to happen. It's pretty extreme. But when the Redfin CEO was warning of problems like this coming, I don't say it's impossible. What do you think? Drop your comments below, smash the like button, subscribe here, and consider subscribing on my personal channel. I'm gonna leave links pinned down below in the top comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. YouTube Success Blueprint. If you've enjoyed this video and wanna dive deeper into growing your YouTube channel and create passive income as a YouTuber, check out my YouTube Success Blueprint by clicking the link in the description below this video. One of the richest men in the world, Warren Buffett, once said, opportunities come in frequently. When it rains gold, put out a bucket, not a thimble. I get the feeling that many men and women today are using thimbles instead of buckets. The truth is that we're in a huge wave of opportunity. I'm not suggesting that the current situation hasn't caused any financial damage to people's lives, because it certainly has. You may be one of those who have been fired, transferred, demoted, or had his assets repossessed. When looking up my own channel statistics on Social Blade, you can see that I was able to grow from a mere 11,000 subscribers to 120,000 subscribers in just 15 months. You could do this too, and I wanna show you how. My YouTube Success Blueprint is a complete A to Z guide that teaches you the necessary steps in order to get your channel up and running within a few days. YouTube is an explosive avenue where you can earn thousands of dollars based simply on uploading videos and monetizing them for views. Think of a bridge with a toll on it. That is a video that's monetized on YouTube. It also serves a great channel to capture leads and potential new clients. Personally, I'm receiving roughly $30,000 per month in video views through Google AdSense just by people watching my videos on YouTube with 120,000 subscribers. This number is likely only going to grow as more and more people become accustomed to using YouTube. We have roughly 2.3 billion monthly users on YouTube, and I could see that number hit 3 billion in no time. To learn more about growing your YouTube channel and creating passive income as a YouTuber, register for my YouTube Success Blueprint by clicking the link in the description below this video.